Today I just want to connect with you from a place of feeling super vulnerable. Wondering whether I want to share that or not. I'm deciding, but yeah. Also these moments are moments where it's great to feel community and to feel together, belonging. I've been crying a lot today in between stuff, between calls for work and supporting my kids packing their bags. And this week has been a rough one with lots of emotions and noticing how the living one's truth and being very open about who I am and what I think also triggers lots of responses in lots of people. Sometimes I hate it that I have this life where I trigger a lot in people, especially when that moves into projections, judgments. I had to deal with quite a few this week and some when there were projections I got so angry I got so so angry I got judged and projected upon by certain people certain men in this case and it was quite rough and it triggered so much anger in me like in the past I would have made myself small and disappeared and I just got so angry and it felt good to feel so fierce about my boundaries and at the same time I started to doubt myself like hey am I being a bitch am I like holding on to how I want things to go and being you know being a bitch when someone else does things in a different way and I researched that a bit with myself and I found that I'm just really protecting my boundaries and getting really pissed if someone's not respecting me. And in other moments I just get really sad. Really sad. Sometimes there's this powerlessness about triggering people and it's just happening. And sometimes people respond with like, you know, that's just part of life, just let it go. It's not always that easy. And also being in this process again of knowing that my life is shifting big time. It's waving to my kids, we're going to the playground. <laughs> Noticing, knowing, just fucking knowing that my life is in a big shift. I felt that for several weeks and I just don't know where the shift is going. I'm not even sure what's gonna shift, but just, you know, that gut feeling of knowing that things are shifting. Which is such another leap of surrender. Like, okay, let it shift then, bring it on. And the shift so far is that, you know, that lovers that were close are suddenly not close. <laughs> or at least most of them and shifts in having to hold my heart on such deep levels, hold myself and my own emotions on such deep levels, feeling supported but having to do it myself, which is great and it's asking a lot. Like up-leveling my amount of self-love and self-care and letting go of even deeper layers of judging myself, like these layers of judging, these deep, deep layers that still think that I'm a fraud, that if people would really know me, that they wouldn't like me at all. These deep, deep levels of feeling unlovable. <laughs> these deep levels of dealing with this big inner sadness that I carry of my mom who lost her father when she was very young, so my grandmother who lost her husband, her love, very young. 
I'm feeling like so much of that sadness is still passed on and inside me that there's this big belief that men are there to abandon us and to know that I carry that and to know that it's up to me to let that go I'm feeling triggered this week again feeling triggered in being disrespected and abandoned by others and especially men just bringing me into contact with this huge sadness which is both a blessing and a challenge so I'm sitting here I see someone writing drop those feelings it ain't you but that's not how this works that's not how this works and please like these kind of advices just feel so belittling it feels like you know it better than me and this is exactly what has been happening this whole week some things where people judge me and then tell me how I should behave no fuck that fuck that I know some people mean it well but fuck that don't tell me what to feel what not to feel and how to deal with those things you don't know better than me and I don't want that in my life anymore where people know better than me how I should feel and how I should deal with my feelings it is me because I'm feeling it it doesn't fucking matter where it comes from I'm feeling it so if you want to do something then just acknowledge my feelings and support me but don't tell me how to feel I just want to share this too because I know there are so many more of you who are feeling things and sometimes feeling very intense things and you know I'm with you in the midst of all that and this fire and this cauldron where so much is happening And I see so many people around me going through similar things where it feels like we're being invited to step up more into our power and step up more into our truth of who we are and what's true for us. And yeah, people will respond to that. People will get triggered. <laughs> and that's okay. Like I, I'm super okay with people being triggered by my actions, but it doesn't mean I'm not impacted by it. Because sometimes I am impacted big time and I just feel hurt, feel sad, feel insecure, feel unloved, feel unwelcomed. And today actually I feel pretty soft but I feel so sad. <sighs> I just want to share that with you too. That I'm sad sometimes too. Yeah, it's such a beautiful path, isn't it, to really acknowledge acknowledge our intuition and our heart and our desires and our, you know, our deepest truth. And it definitely isn't always the most easy path. It is such a leap of surrender. It is, you know, diving head first into what you might want to avoid most. And we all know that we do this for a reason. We all know that it's probably going to be better on the other side. That we don't know. We don't know for sure. <laughs> right. So here I am. In the middle of running off another cliff. Surrendering to knowing that things are changing again. Having no idea where to. Knowing it has to do with the big things of life. And there's my third child going to the playground. 
knowing that all the changes have to do with the big themes in life. Wanting to live somewhere else. Wanting to live somewhere else. Wanting... <laughs> Just a second. Hey liefje, waarom heb je andere kleren aan? Hou je gewoon aan wat je aan had. Deze. Oké, okay. oké. Okay. Je mag... Ga maar. Ga maar. Oké. Okay. And this is part of my life too, where I just have to park my processes and my emotions for moments to just, you know, hold my kids. To show them too that I'm a person with feelings and then at the same time hold them, be their mum, answer their practical questions. And then when they're all gone, when they're all at the playground, I can cry a bit more. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm loving you all. Thank you for witnessing me. Thank you for being here with me. And thank you for your courage of being on your path, wherever you are. Just know that you're not alone too. That we're here in this together, you know, trying to change the world, I guess. Trying to make this a better place for ourselves and for others. It's really living. Not just sitting out live, but really living. So my heart is with you all. Sending you so much love. You know, let's celebrate together, but let's also hold each other in all this. Mm. I feel free to share in the comments your experience. I'll read them. And I hold you in my thoughts when you when I do. Sending you so much love. Take super good care of yourselves and know that you're loved. Know that you're lovable. Trust your own heart. Logging out. You're crying, intimacy activist. 